answer them. Perfect, and I'll, yeah. I'll turn it over to you, Dan, if you want to introduce yourself, say hello, all that good stuff. Absolutely. Yeah. Uh, so as Kim said, my name is Dan. Um, I work for Headway uh, in the team that basically uh, goes out and speaks to therapists like, like you guys and let, lets everyone know what Headway is trying to do and, and how we uh, might be able to help and uh, really are that first line of contact for uh, therapists and providers across the country and the states that we work in. So I've had a great time connecting with many of you um, across our 11 states we work in. And uh, Kim has been a wonderful partner of ours um, in getting in getting our name out there and letting me do these types of things. Um, so I really appreciate the time. And I have a list of questions that have been have been given. So I'll just run through those, uh, answer them. And if there's anything that pops up as we're doing this discussion, um, please just to shoot shoot it my way. Uh, what I will say is, you know, I just want everyone to know, like, Headway is completely there to help. And, and if you think that Headway can help you, then that's fantastic. And if not, that's okay too. So I don't want anyone to think that we're trying to, you know, force anyone to work with us. And that's certainly not the case. And I don't want anyone to think that. So uh, I've seen some of the comments that are, you know, worried about our presence, and I don't want that to be the case at all. So uh, with that, I'll just I'll just jump right into the questions here. Um, so the first question we got was, when are they coming to um, my state? So uh, right now, uh, we are in 11 states, um, which I, I can, let's, I can probably repeat them off the top of my head, but let's try. Uh, we have New York, New Jersey, uh, North Carolina, Virginia, Florida, Georgia, Texas, Colorado, Illinois, Washington, uh, Michigan, and I might have said Texas, but Texas as well. So I think that's 11. Um, our goal is to be in between 20 and 25 uh, by the end of the year. Uh, we wanted to focus on those 11 for the first half of the year. So I don't even know what those next 10 to 12 will be um, going in the following year, but you know, we'll be in all 50 in the next two years, hopefully. Um, so that's our goal. So if we're not there yet, just you know, still fill out that form that Kim sent around. And uh, if you filled it out and you are in a state that we're in, uh, we have been a little backlog because of how, how busy Kim has kept us, but uh, <laughs> we reach out as soon as we can. Uh, and if you're in a state that we're not in, uh, we will reach out to you when we are live there. So we have your information. Uh, the next Hey, question. Dan, let me, yeah. let me just say something. If, if you guys are here, can you just say hello? Give us a hello. I just want to make sure this is streaming because I'm not seeing the comments coming through yet. And it, I just got a notification that somebody started a watch party in this group. So I don't know somebody that's not me. So I'm just making sure you guys can see this. Anybody? Can you see it, Dan? Do you have it pulled up on your phone? I have it on my phone and it looks, I can, I'll try to comment. I have it on my phone here. Oh, Sorry. that's a good idea. Comments. You're seeing comments? Yeah. Hello. Oh, I don't see Nicola, any. Nicole, Lana, Jennifer, Lori, Cindy, Brian. Okay, Thanks. cool. Great. I can't see anything for some reason. So I'm, I'm going to have to leave it to you, Dan, to see the comments. It says a big zero on mine. So I see it. I see it. I see it. All right. All right. Cool. All right. Uh, the, the next one we got was uh, how and when do referral bonuses get paid? Um, so yeah, uh, they, they, they happen when we do the credentialing for the person that you referred. So uh, which in normal time, so when we were launching in New York, what, that was two to three weeks because with the system is ironed out. In our new states, that takes a little longer. So that's something that we didn't foresee as we did these new market launches. So uh, it's still the same process in the new market. So it could be anywhere from a month to a little longer than that based on the timeline for credentialing. Um, I think that we should be paying them out sooner. So I know that's on our to-do list to, uh, to figure out how that will look. Um, but at, right now it's when the credentialing is started for uh, the provider that you're referring. So if it's in, let's say North Carolina, Florida or New York, which is like ready to go live, it's two to three weeks. If it's in a state that we're newer to, it could be a little longer, about a, about a ma month max. Oh, wow. Okay, that's great. Um, is there a way around having to? Uh, is there a way around having to have clients use Headway software in addition to my current EHR? So, yeah, um, I like to say that that Headway is is a spectrum that you can pick and choose yeah, what you like to so. use out of. Um, so on the one side, 
you can run your entire practice through us. And a lot of people in New York are doing that because we cover a, a huge portion of the pa patient population, upwards of 90 or so percent. Um, in a state where we're newer to, and we might just be working with United Healthcare or Optum, or Oscar, uh, it's more of a, a partial solution. So it might make sense to be just using us for, for claim submission and the process of doing that, um, as opposed to going through a, a biller or someone like that. So uh, there's you can pick and choose how you want to do that. And uh, what I mean by the other end of the spectrum is we do have an, a HIPAA compliant note taking on there. You can take intake notes, you can take progress notes. Um, but to answer that question, uh, you do the, the minimum that you have to do to use Headway is input the CPT code and diagnosis code for the uh, appointment that you just had with a patient. Um, and they will have to input their information into our system as well so we can submit the claim for you. Um, so that would include their insurance information. Um, and either you or them can input that, that, uh, that information. And if I'm not answering these questions fully or you have some clarification, I'm, I have the comments here on my phone. So uh, just, just throw them in that chat and I can get back. I can read them. Yeah, and I can see him now too. So yeah, if you guys want him to expound upon anything, just let us know. Totally. Brian says, can we watch this later? I have a client. Yeah, this will be on this page forever. I'll put it out in a um, email blast too for anybody that's on my email list in case you can't see it here for some reason. Cool. Um, okay, uh, this is a heavy hitting question. Uh, what's their goal? <laughs> so I think this is a good time to really just go into a little bit about Headway and what we're really trying to do here. Um, so when we were founded about two years ago, uh, about it, we were founded in New York about two years ago, and uh, about 75% of providers in the state were not accepting any form of insurance. So as you can imagine, that priced out an enormous portion of the population out of therapy uh, because a lot of people can't afford a full fee from a, from a provider. Uh, and our founders uh, did some research into why that problem was. And uh, we found that there was a huge gap between the, the provider and the insurance company and how that process worked. So we've taken it upon ourselves to create a partnership with insurance companies to allow providers to get on panels uh, very easily and also to work with them past that point as well. So we help with the credentialing um, all the way through to claim submission, claim verification, getting paid in a timely manner. Um, and also just bridging that gap between um, mental health me mental health care and, and the insurance company. So uh, our goal is to allow anyone to see a provider through their insurance panel um, that 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 wants to. So anyone who should be able, anyone who wants to see a therapist should be able to do so. Um, and our our mission, everything that we do, is always lining up to our company pillar of creating a more accessible and affordable mental health care system. Um, and I look at the mental health care system as a, as a puzzle piece of three people. There are three players. You have the patient, the insurance companies, and the providers. And the best way to create a more equitable and affordable and accessible mental health care system is to work on that puzzle piece, the provider, and make sure that the provider is able to work with insurance company and work with insurance-based patients um, more, more seamlessly. And that's what our goal is. So um, we have tons of goals you know, at a minor, more minor level, but that's our main like company mission that I think is really important to get across. Um, and it's really just to rewire this mental health care system so people can find providers and, and see providers easier. That's awesome. Um, the next question here is um, similar. So if, if, you, if you're if you a group practice, um, why would independent contractors or employees of the, uh, the group practice uh, join, not just join Headway? Um, and I get this question a lot. And I think you group practice directors are selling, your shell, selling yourselves incredibly short. Uh, because what Headway does is a minor, minor piece of the group practice puzzle uh, in that we're just doing what you're already probably doing for them. Uh, we're just doing the, the credentialing um, of the insurance companies uh, and also the, the administrative work of the claim submission. Uh, people join group practices for supervision, for learning from someone who's been in the field a while, from generating client referrals to a lot of the stuff that we're not dipping our toes into yet. So there is an enormous place for group practices. And if anyone has any concerns about that, I'd be happy to connect you with, you know, one of the 30 or 40 or so group practices that we work with already in New York. So uh, I get the concern, but it's really something that we're looking to be a partner in, not a competitor in. Um, and also just from a, a, a standpoint of my team, we don't go out and target or speak to providers of a group. 
So uh, there's a, there's that level of protection as well. So we're always trying to make sure that group practice directors are are comfortable to work with us. Nice. I was going to say Lisa Lovelace is in the comments right now, and she's a group practice owner that uses Headway. So she'd be a great person to reach out to. Also, if you have questions about that. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah. And we work with group practices all the way from just an admin or administrator or a manager and a clinician all the way up to um, someone who has a group of, I think, like 32 people by now. So all sizes. Awesome. Yep. Um, different states have different requirements for licensure. Uh, at, as a group practice owner, the rate sheet says master's level. Would all clinicians need full licensure or is this state dependent? So because of the way that Headway is structured and the fact that we're credentialing under a group NPI, um, we need as a company policy to have providers be fully licensed. Um, I see a future where that could change, but just that the stage we're in right now uh, to make things less complicated and the, so we can grow to more states and do things a little more seamlessly, the policy right now is that we need to have fully licensed clinicians. So I understand at the state level and some insurance company level, there might be requirements that are a little less than that. Um, but from a headway standpoint, that's what we're working under because we are adding providers to our, our group NPI um, and doing the credentialing that way. So that's our, that's our stance on that for now. Uh, but I, it's a question I get very, very regularly. So uh, I certainly see that changing at some point in the future, no timeline at all, but it's on, you know, at least my radar because I hear it all the time. Mm -hmm. um, cool. So how does the billing platform work? Um, this would be a great time for me to just share my screen. And this is typically what I do on a one on one call with providers when they reach out. So I'm sure some of you have seen this before, but uh, I'll just it, it, will it work if I share my screen? Will it broadcast? It should. Yeah. yeah, it should. Cool. Yeah, so basically um, all that you need. Let's see if that worked here. Can you see this? Can everyone see this? Episode? Yeah, I think so. Can you guys see that? It's a little lagged on our end oh, cool. on the Facebook page. Got it. Yeah. Yep. yep. Cool. Yeah, so all that you need to do is just click into uh, add session and you'll have your drop down list of patients that you'll add. We can just do one real quick uh, with me. Add session will go to me and this is uh, my, my information so I'm not doing anything illegal here. Um, all that you need to do to, to work with us is input the CPT code and diagnosis code and press confirm. That is the billing system right there. Uh, and then the wow. payment show up right there. So it's pretty seamless. Um, and we can, you know, if you act, if you guys are interested and want to work on it, work, talk to us uh, at a you know more personal level, I can show you how to get to that point, but just wanted to show quickly how uh, seamless that, that process was for, for billing. Oh, yeah. uh, do I have to do the billing or does Headway? So as I just showed, we're the ones that are actually taking the information you just gave in that little, very brief form and inputting the information uh, and we'll take it from there and submit the claim for you. So the next awesome. question was, uh, will providers uh, be listed in insurance directory if they are paneled under headway? So let's say I don't take Aetna privately, but I do through headway. Uh, so yes, you are listed, but it's under headway. It's under our tax ID, our number, our email. Um, so we're basically able, if you're someone who isn't wanting to take or doesn't want to see Aetna patients outside of Headway, for example, and you're, you know, not solo credentialed, um, we, you, you can just be under our system there. So uh, that's one way to shield you from getting patients that you might not want to see. Uh, if you are someone who wants to continue or wants to really bump up that referral stream, we can list your contact information under your directory page. Um, and you just need to let us know. So uh, there's two ways you can go about that, but the short answer is yes, un, at least in, in a very brief way, you are listed under the insurance company directory. Um, gotcha. Anyway, any questions? So let me just read. Here. Yeah, somebody was just messaging me. They said they couldn't find our live broadcast, but I think she's got us now. Cool, all right. Yeah. All right. Um, so the question about, do, so you don't credential L, LSWs yet. So any, any master's level fully licensed clinician is what we can work with right now. Um, per, provider asks, uh, does Headway allow us to keep doing our other gigs while working with them in one state? And if Headway is in another two states you worked in? Absolutely. So uh, 
we can work with you in any state you are licensed in, even if it's only one of three that we're working in. Um, and then, you know, when this, in this case, the providers in Colorado, Nebraska, and Kansas, when we are live in Nebraska and Kansas, we'll just, you know, do the same process there. So uh, we, we can be a, a small addition to your already existing practice or help you out with the entire thing if we can. So it's really whatever you want there. Um, okay. It's pretty easy. Yeah. Can I continue to see my clients via telehealth? Uh, yes, absolutely. So pre-pandemic, we had telehealth built into our, our contracts with the insurance companies. And, uh, you know, this, the world we're living in is changing regularly, uh, but it's, it's a priority for us to make sure that that is included. Um, it's not something that I necessarily can guarantee just because you guys know exactly how the insurance companies uh, work and, and negotiate things. So uh, as of right now, all of our contracts that any existing provider has with us covers telehealth. Um, so that is 100% okay. Uh, if you join us today, everything that you're currently doing telehealth wise can remain the same. And our goal will be to have that going um, uh, towards the future. So, okay. Yeah. Cause that's a big concern. You know, we're all worried when the pandemic's over that the insurance companies are going to pull telehealth from all of us. Absolutely. Um, but you can guarantee it that it's not going to be a problem if we want to do it that way, pretty Absol much. Absolutely. Okay. So, that's yeah. big. That's huge, actually. Especially mm -hmm. for our, um, you know, we, we have a wonderful relationship with um, Optum and United Healthcare, and uh, that's already baked into our uh, existing contract with them. So, and that was pre pandemic. So, that will not, that will certainly not change. And we're still going through the process of partnering with more insurance companies, but, um, uh, we, we're looking to do the same with those as well. Uh, question awesome. from Kay, are, you are in Colorado and Kansas or just Colorado? Just Colorado right now. Um, the next question is, what happens if I get audited? Uh, so it, in this case, since we're working under uh, a group, tax ID group NPI, it would actually be Headway that's getting audited and uh, it would go through us. So we're a bit of a middleman between that process and um, if you are a provider that has, that is in question, as far as some sessions go, uh, it is headway who will be just reaching out to you asking for the notes. If, if you are keeping notes outside of the headway portal. Um, so it's, uh, we're an, a nice little barrier there. Um, and you don't have to worry about it. It's, it's, it's our problem to, to worry about. Nice. That, that's okay. pretty amazing too. So if, if they audit basically, because I asked I asked Dan this earlier, if they if headway gets audited for something you're somebody you're seeing, you are still gonna keep your payment for that session. You're not gonna have to pay anything back, like in clawbacks or recoupments, like it's guaranteed that yeah. Yeah. the and session's gonna be covered for you, right? Yeah. yeah, absolutely. And that's a good good point to that reminded me. Um, so with headway, you get paid every two weeks. Uh, guaranteed. So, and that guaranteed payment is once it hits your bank account, uh, you'll never hear from us about getting it or like clawing it back or anything. So uh, at Headway's core, we are a software technology company and we're confident in our ability to verify claims, do claim submission really well. And, you know, all these things that are certainly above my pay grade, but uh, we will never claw back anything or ask for money back because of how confident we are in the software that we're using. So uh, with that, we're able to pay out every two weeks guaranteed. The next question here is, I have a financial policy about putting a card on file, filing insurance, uh, but I need to make a separate one in simple practice for headway clients. Um, no, you do not need to make a separate one. So if you're using simple practice in addition to headway, um, then... Uh, you will just need to add them to your headway portal, which then uh, they will automatically be sent, you know, our version of a privacy policies agreement, which, you know, just your standard terms and conditions type of thing. Uh, so you don't need to make a separate one at all. Okay. Good to know. Yeah. Does anyone know the flat rate they are paying clinicians? Uh, so two points there. One, rates are discussed when you chat with me or any of my coworkers on a one-on-one -on -one just intro call. Um, but more generally, uh, it's determined by the state and the insurance carrier. So it's not one flat rate at all. So it's, it's based on the negotiations at the state and insurance level. Okay. Awesome. Yeah. So that's between you and the clinician. Yeah. Right. And the state and the policy and all that stuff. Yeah. Okay. Let's see. Are you following these questions, Dan? 
Yeah. Uh, okay. Uh, so when you sign up with Headway, will I get a BAA? Uh, no, we do not require a business uh, association agreement um, because we're uh, we are a medical practice or a mental health care practice. So we don't need. It's not like simple practice who's just doing like claim submission for you. We actually are uh, set up as a as a like a, a practice. So. Uh, we don't need that. It's more we're just adding you to uh, a group contract that we have, and uh, we're we don't we're not associating. It's more just you're, we're working with you on claim submission. Um, if I have an independent contractor, do they sign a separate contract with you, or are uh, under my group? So, um, when you have a provider that is working underneath you in a group setting, uh, the process for them to join Headway is the same. So we credential them under our group NPI. We add them to our system. Um, but the difference is that if you're an admin of a group, uh, you're the only one who sees the payment info and uh, all goes to one, you know, whatever bank account you decide. So uh, it's, there's no separate contract. It's more, you're just the one who oversees all of the stuff that needs to happen with, with payments. Um, yeah, so I know this, we were going to talk about this later, but let's just get it out of the way now. Uh, the eligibility system has been incorrect with several of my Optum patients. And I fear if I don't know their benefits, patient, patients can be charged incorrectly. Can you advise? Uh, yes. So we use a third-party tool that does uh, eligibility. Um, and uh, they're going through a bit of an acquisition right now. And it's screwed up some of our tech. Uh, we uh -huh. have a short-term solution to this. And this, this is raised from you guys bringing this up. And I, it frustrates me as well. So I totally get it. Uh, we, we've, we have private contractors that are now doing spot checks to make sure that claims are getting properly or insurances are properly getting um, verified. Uh, longer term, in the next few weeks, months, we're looking, we will be fully correcting this. What I will say is if for some reason some type of issue happens, uh, we will 100% err on the side of caution, do any type of refund that's necessary for a patient, do any type of reconciliation that we need. Uh, because when I speak to providers, I say that we verify benefits and we, we certainly want to live up to that. So uh, if there is an error, it's a temporary issue. Uh, and, you know, as we grow into these new markets, we're going to learn things. And it wasn't a problem as much as we when we were just in New York, as I'm, New York providers that are on this call might be able to test. And you do something in North Carolina and then, you know, something new pops up and uh, we have to learn as we go. And, you know, we had our first appointment in North Carolina just a few few months ago. So uh, these things are going to happen as we grow uh, and we'll get better over time. Uh, but short term, we we will do these spot checks. We will do the reconciliations and refunds as necessary. I will say it is a very, very small subset of the population that has one or two plans that are a little bit specific and niche. Um, so Jennifer, I hear you. I'm also frustrated because I am uh, dealing with these issues as well from the headway side. So uh, okay. If there is, if for you in particular, if there is an issue that you, has not been resolved, please PM me and, and I'll, I'll help you out. But hopefully someone on the provider support team has helped out. So is it better for the clinician to reach out to you or have the client reach out? Like if there's an issue like that? Either it goes to the same place. Um, okay, okay. Yeah. So I, it, there's, it's like hello at headway.com. Uh, but it, yeah, either, either one is good. Okay, gotcha. Uh, is a physical commercial office address necessary for strictly online pro uh, therapists? Uh, no, we do not need a physical address. Um, we do not need a physical address. Okay. So does a virtual address suffice? Just like a, a PO yes. box or like a street street address? Yeah, so a lot of providers put their, their home addresses or you know some type of address on the ground. That's fine. Okay. Uh, all right. Thank you, Jennifer. She said I reached out and it was corrected. Cool. Oh, cool. Uh, Good. Right. This, so I heard that Headway charges a merchant fee for credit card transaction. It is my understanding this test, Texas does not allow this. Uh, yeah. So this is one of those things that meeting Kim was a revelation for me because I've spoken to maybe a thousand therapists since I joined Headway and this has never once came up. I joined Kim's group to get, you know, into this, this Zoom call. And then I did a quick scan of the posts and I've never seen a more vibrant discussion in my life about credit card. <laughs> uh, so short answer is uh, we, it is, it is not a credit card fee. It's a, it's the pr processing fee for the transaction. So it's not illegal. I understand that it's uh, something that you might not 
be uh, comfortable with or want or like. So the short term fix to this before we can really dive into what the state by state requirements are uh, is we've quickly added a, a solution to allow the provider to take that uh, the payment on themselves. So if it doesn't want to be passed on to the client. Um, also, 90% of the clients that are the patients that are on headway uh, input a bank account. So like an ACH transfer, so routing number and bank account number, and that is no fee. So this is only going to apply if you use a credit card fee. So I'd say first solution, do the bank account. Second solution, we can talk about splitting it or something like that. Um, but it's one of those things where like, I just never heard of it. And these things don't change in a second. Um, but I totally hear you. And it's on the radar of our, our product team to you know, figure out is that something that we can stop doing? Is it something that we can negotiate out of? Or is it state by state? And we can't do it anymore. So um, I, I totally hear you, Ellie. Yeah. Cool. That's um, great. Yeah. yeah. And I, as, that's why I appreciate this feedback. It's like, you know, I'm not, I'm personally not billing clients through, you know, headway. I'm not a therapist. So, you know, I'd never know this, these, these types of things personally. So I appreciate it. Um, what insurances in North Carolina are you credentialing? Um, so right now we are with United or an Optum, uh, any of those subsidiaries, Oscar, Oxford. Um, and in the next few months, we will also have uh, Blue Cross Blue Shield of North Carolina. And um, in sometime late summer, midsummer, we're looking to add Aetna as well. Okay. Do you think you guys will have a telehealth contract with all these companies? Like, is that the goal or are some of them not going to yeah. do that? Do you think? So I, I, that, that's the goal. I'm not okay. really the best person to ask because I'm not the one doing the negotiation discussions. Uh, but I know that that's a goal for us just because of how many providers are telehealth. Um, if that's something that were to change with headway, we would certainly give a ton of advance notice and it would be uh, saddening to us as well. So I, yeah. we, will, we will certainly be up, be updating anyone on that, but that's our goal. Awesome. Mm -hmm. Okay. What is the turnaround time for benefit authorization for new clients? Um, yeah, so I actually might, might as well just share my screen here and do okay. uh, because I saw a comment about um, saying that we guarantee um, $20 payments for th therapy sessions. And I just want to clear the air there. So, uh, you know, this is just some uh, a good way for clients to to see headway. So when you see a therapist through headway, you'll pay more like 20 to $50 rather than the standard 200 to 300. Uh, this is speaking of uh, if uh, for, for ba basically verifying their benefits. So if they have a deductible, obviously, it's going to be whatever the deductible is, and whatever the rate is that 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 we're charging. So however, uh, and it's the same way for the pr uh, for the provider standpoint, uh, we can actually just check the benefits right here. So I already have mine filled in. Um, you see, I have Aetna and boom, look up my benefits. And this is how long it takes for you as well when you add a new patient. And boom, so I have a copay of $30 and a coinsurance of 30%. So that's the same process for the provider as well. So it's almost uh, instantaneous. That's amazing. Yeah. Oh, um, somebody says that's a misleading sales pitch. <laughs> All right, feedback, feedback. Tape. <laughs> they want it, so so let them know. <laughs> it's fine. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So what about our individual contract with the insurance companies? Do we lose that when we sign with them? Uh, not at all. So um, because we are adding you to our existing NPI, uh, everything that you have under your personal NPI remains completely the same. Uh, so uh, in theory, you could have two contracts going at the same time, and, and that's completely fine. Uh, it's a good way to see if you're if you're interested in working with us. So it's a good way to test it out um, and as, as a pretty low risk way. Um, how long do they guarantee their rates for? So uh, we guarantee that the rates that you have right now will never go down. Um, and we are we obviously look to to raise them um, as, as we grow. Um, and the next question leads perfectly into that. Um, what keeps them from cutting rates in the future and keeping a bigger profit for themselves? Yeah, so we're never going to cut rates at all. So whatever you work with us at and you sign your contract at is guaranteed. Um, we are obviously looking to, uh, you know, renegotiate 
uh, rates uh, as we grow. So, you know, as we bring on more providers, uh, we're able to do those negotiations um, and obviously looking to pass that on to providers. So hopefully it'll be go up and never, never cut. Uh, that's, that's a guarantee. Mm -hmm. uh, the the okay. next question I have is how do they handle no shows and late cancellations? Can I charge my usual fee? Uh, yeah. So um, you can choose your cancellation fee to whatever you want. So uh, the maximum is $200 within 48 hours, or it can be, uh, or it can be, you know, whatever, 75 and 24, 24 hours. Um, so that's completely up to you. Headway doesn't take any money from that cancellation money um, and it goes right to you. So, so whatever your call, whatever you want or whatever you're doing now. Nice. Yeah, probably this is, this is probably as we're launching into new markets, this is probably the most, you know, uh, highest volume question I get. How do they handle insurances trying to limit session length? Um, yeah. yeah, so we have, we're, we do about 30,000 appointments a month. You know, majority of them are in New York being that's where we've got our star and we, we're pretty established there. Uh, we have to date not had any issues with, you know, 90837 usage. Um, as it was the same thing with the verification in new states, if, you know, something might pop up as we grow, but uh, if history is able to, to repeat itself here, we don't see that being a problem. Um, we have really great relationships with our insurance partners. Um, and I'll, I'll get into that at the end a little bit more, but um, we really don't see that being a problem going forward. Um, okay. And, you know, that's, that's hopefully will remain the same. Obviously there's so, the, so bill away for your 90837s with Optum. <laughs> and, and even at, at the worst case, let's say you bill a 90837 and uh, you, you know, you have a few sessions with them, but we find out four or five months later that that's not allowed. They want the money back. You're shielded from, from that and will take the, take the cut from there or the cost from there. Uh, and then tell you going forward, please use 90834, for example. So you're never going to lose money because of it um, in the off chance that there is some type of issue down the road. Okay. Have you had that come up where you've had to come back and tell them to, to bill a 90834 instead? Did you know? Uh, not of? to date, no. Not, to, not date. to date. Okay. Interesting. Not to date. Okay. Hmm. Um, okay. Let's see. What is time frame if a clinician wants to leave headway? Uh, any penalties? Uh, no, there is no penalties, no time frame. Very easy to leave if you'd like. We have a very high retention rate right now, so I hope you don't uh, you don't want to leave, but you don't. Yeah, there's no uh, penalty. Um, Headway versus Sondermind. Why is Headway better? I do not want to get into the competitor discussion uh, as much as as much as that would be interesting. If you want to chat in a more thorough detail, I'd be happy to on an intro call, but I don't think this is the the space for that, if that's all right, Kim. Yeah. Oh, sure. Yeah, I understand. So um, Zeta, El Zeta, whoever said that, feel free to reach out to Dan and, and talk about that if you want to know more. Okay. Uh, Michelle, this, I'm going to answer this one more time because there might be some other people that didn't hear this before. Yeah. Um, yep. So um, Michelle, this is in response to your question about group practices. And I'm going to repeat the same thing. So you guys have heard this before, but just bear with me. Uh, Group, practice, group practices do so much more than what Headway does. You, when, you ha when you hire a clinician, you're doing all of the stuff that Headway already does already. We can just be that addition to your practice that makes that initial process easier. So uh, a clinician will join a group practice, as you all know, for a multitude of reasons. Uh, supervision, um, getting referrals, support, um, not having to worry about admin and billing work. And we're just going to be there to help you with the credentialing part of things if they're not credentialed and also the easy way of payment. Um, so a lot of provider, a lot of group practices uh, across the country, mainly in New York, but a lot are starting to work with us as well in our new states, uh, have loved working with us because we're actually broadening the scope of providers that clinician group practice admins can, can bring on because of how easy it is to now do the credentialing for the partners that we work with. So as opposed to before, it might've been someone that is already individually credentialed and you just are looking in that pool of applicants. Uh, now we might be able to broaden that a little bit and just be a great addition to your group practice. Um, you know, if someone leaves, leaves your group, they're not just gonna you know, jump upon 30 you know, patients to see in a week. 
uh, you are doing so much more for them than, than what Headway is able to do. And hopefully we can just be a good partner in that. Um, and I think as, as uh, Kim said before, Dr. Lisa Lovelace has been working with us for, for over a year now, I believe, or almost a year now in New York. And she's a group practice owner and uh, has, has had a good time with, with, with working with us. So hopefully uh, you guys don't see us as a foe. Um, the next question is, can I see Optum EAPs through Headway? Uh, yes. So uh, and we were able to work with any commercial Optum plan on as long, even if it's run through an EAP. Um, next question is they claim, okay, we already handled this. Uh, I went through the, uh, the uh, deductible versus copay um, and the uh, verification thing there. Let me see. There were some other ones that I had wrote, written down. Okay. Um, I actually think we got it all. So let's go through the chat now. Um, do we need an address in those states in order to get the rate for that state? Uh, no, so we can work with you as a virtual provider. Uh, that's fine. Uh, how does it work? Because a lot of people um, mentioned they're licensed in, in like three different states or whatever, like they might be housed in a state that you're not in yet, but maybe they're licensed in a state that you are in. How does that work? You just credential them anyway through your company and exactly. I guess it just works out that way. Yeah. yeah. As I'm asking, I'm answering myself. <laughs> uh, Colin, yeah. Colin asked, do you cover no-shows, late cancels, et cetera? Uh, yeah, so I, I, I went over this a little bit, but I'll repeat it real quick. Um, so we, you can set your own cancellation policy and Headway doesn't uh, take any of the money that you're getting for that cancellation. So the max it can be is $200 within 48 hours of canceling or the, the appointment. Um, most the, the standard policy is 75 within 24 hours. Uh, Beth asks, do you provide referrals? Um, so yeah, this, this kind of gets into a really good discussion about what Headway is, is really trying to be, um, in the long term and what we're starting to do in New York. So there's, there's two answers here. Uh, the short answer is, uh, no Headway is not going to just send you a patient. Um, we help with referrals because we bring providers onto panels that might not already be on panels. And obviously there's been never a greater need than right now for an insurance accepting provider. So uh, yeah. providers that we're working with in New York, we've studied this, get around four to five new referrals from us based on their psychology today, psychology today profile when they add the panels that we work with. So that is one stream, but also that's more on you to do the networking, to do your psychology today creation, maybe posting on Facebook, things like that. The longer term, uh, and what we're doing in New York right now is we have uh, partners on the, the primary care side and, and working with uh, OBGYNs, PCPs, some hospital networks, uh, medical groups such as One Medical, and we're working with, um, we just started working with Wheel Cornell and Mount Sinai. And uh, we are really trying to bridge the gap between medical care and mental health care. Um, you guys do amazing work, but it's often very siloed and, you know, an office by yourself or with a small group of clinicians and, uh, you know, you're not working with PCPs and OBGYNs and we really want to make it up way easier for providers in that sphere of medicine to be able to refer to you. Um, and we have just started doing this in the last six months with uh, doctors in New York and they are referring patients to some of our providers in more or less a beta stage um, and it's been going really, really well. So that is where we see uh, headway going in that we really want to bridge that gap between medical care uh, and, and mental health care. Um, so the short answer is, is no, we don't provide referrals, but the, you know, the more long-winded answer is that's our goal is to make it more of a collaborative environment that we can. Um, let me see here. High five. That's Kim, why don't you read Michelle's comment there and summarize I, She said, if I told you that most states don't enforce non-compete and therapists can legally take their clients with them over to any group, even headway, why would an IC stay in a group making 70% of reimbursement when they can jump to headway and make what seems like 100%? Despite how much ICs might love the group practice, a 30% raise is a lot, for example, especially for telehealth groups that don't have office space. So you kind of answered this before, but maybe this is just a different way of asking, like, why would they stay with me? Yeah. So, uh, well, two things. I, yeah. So to repeat all the other benefits work for the group uh, that Headway yeah. provide. Um, 
and the you know we will never reach out to providers of a group that are on headway and like poach them so there's a, a few ways of production there um what is the admin support provided so um lana do you mean from like you know us helping you out with your practice um perspective i'm, I'm gonna assume that's it uh yeah so we, you know you have a dedicated team of, of people that uh has recently grown to an enormous amount of people that is going to be extremely responsive uh, as we grow, which is awesome as of this week. So the response time is going to be extremely short and we're really excited about offering even more support. Um, so basically, um, and um, basically uh, you just reach out to them in that portal and we're able to help out with the, a lot of things. So sometimes if you're seeing that a payment is, is wrong or you know something like that, it's an easy fix. Just press a button, you do the chat feature. Um, we are not in, in Minnesota yet. Um, let me see here. Yeah, and I also want to just hit on a few other things just while I have everyone here. Um, you know, we, as we've, uh, since we were founded, we in New York, for example, we've been able to almost quadruple the amount of insurance accepting providers. So a lot of people ask, you know, how do you do this? You know, how is this a, a service where we're able to get paid X amount and, and all that? And uh, we've really created this amazing partnership with insurance companies where we're helping them with grow their networks and in turn making them look more attractive to, to employers that are shopping plans. Um, you know, insurance companies are valued based on the quality of their network. And uh, when 70% of therapists in the country are not on an insurance panel, that's a real tough look. And we've made the process from credentialing to working with insurances to uh, from getting paid to getting paid extremely easy. Uh, so insurance companies really value the the, the partnership that we've created, um, and that's why we're able to do these things uh, at, you know at the national level. Um, and also, we really just streamline the process for claim submission and, and credentialing. So as opposed to you know all six thousand of your group members submitting claims in six thousand different ways or credentialing in six thousand different patterns. Uh, if it's all in a centralized system, uh, it saves the insurance company's money, uh, and it also saves the the therapist's time. Um, and you know, in, insurance companies and, and lately, uh, this might be up for debate, but we believe that they are more interested now in uh, cutting costs through preventative care. Uh, and the average person with a mild form of depression could cost an insurance company eight thousand dollars in medical expenses. And mm -hmm. if seventy percent of the nation's therapists are not um, not taking insurance, uh, that's going to really be eight thousand dollars. When it could be less if you know those seventy percent were accepting insurance. So that's why we're able to provide value to insurance companies, uh, and that's why we're able to do exactly what we do. Um, and I want to make sure that everyone understands that relationship is really trying to be a, a partnership to make sure that uh, we're we're helping you and we're helping them, and everyone ends up pretty happy in this three way relationship. Um, and I know that might be an interesting twist on the relationship that you might have with some insurance companies, but we're really trying to make it easier. Yeah. Um, can we start adding therapists in our practice under your practice? Yeah, absolutely, Colin. So uh, it's very easy to add a new clinician, just simple as sending me their name and license type and email address and I do the rest. Yeah, I mean, uh, Michelle, I understand the the concern. Um, I'm I'm not gonna say that that would never happen, but it's not our goal. Um, and you know, the best we can do is is not poach them and and make sure that you understand that that's not our goal. Um, you know, we're not forcing anyone to join us at all. So I know it might not make sense for everyone, um, but you know, it, that that's the best I can give you. I know that's not a perfect answer, but I, I understand the concern. Yeah, and I think you always run the risk of a clinician leaving. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Yeah, right. Does anyone mm -hmm. have any other questions here? Oh, besides um, CBS. Yeah, there we go. Colin, uh, I think the next on the docket in most of our states, um, I, I could get back to you on this, but I believe the next one on the docket in Illinois is Aetna as well, just because we're doing Aetna in a lot of them. So I'm not, I, I'm almost positive it's that that's the same for Illinois as well, but I'm not 100%. Yeah, and I'm just typing. Um, for those of you that, if they're not in your state yet, you can fill out that referral form 
and they'll put you on a waiting list. So they're kind of like keeping track of all these states that have interest, you know, so sign up. And then as soon as they're in that state, they're going to contact you mm -hmm. basically. Right, Dan? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. So yeah. Uh, if you hear from us immediately, then don't worry. Mm -hmm. um, how long does the credentialing process take? Um, yeah, so once we're live, active, running, uh, it takes about two to three weeks, 30 days most for some, most of the payers um, what, that we have delegated credentialing status with. So what that means uh, for Optum United Healthcare, we are able to do it in about three weeks. And we get that by working with them and being a great partner with them over time. So when we just launch with you know, Blue Cross Blue Shield of North Carolina, uh, that isn't there yet. So it takes a little longer. Um, it still should be shorter than what it would take as an individual, but um, it, it anywhere from you know that two to three weeks to could be what, like three months, you know, uh, for a payer that we don't have that delegated credentialing status with. Mm -hmm. Billers are nervous you are taking their business from them. Uh, that concern is valid for sure, um, but we don't have nearly all of the plans on on the table. Uh, from a more localized perspective, we don't, our goal is to cover the largest patient population as possible in a state. So um, all of the local plans at the state level are not on our radar for the, you know, the next year or so. Um, so right now we're working with those more national plans. So there will always be a place for billers. And I've talked to Kim about this because obviously she's in this world as well. Uh, but yeah, yeah I, I get I, that's, uh, I, that's, a, that's a valid concern for sure. Yeah. If a clinician leaves headway, are there any penalties? Uh, no, not at all. And um, the the clients are uh, the clients that you bring on headway. Once you bring them on headway, they're still yours. So uh, you take them right with you, and and all, and all is good there. Did, did you see this question about um, any goals on working with Tricare in the future? Uh, yes, I in the states where Tricare is very prevalent, so in like North Carolina and Virginia, I know it's pretty big. Um, that's certainly on the list. The process to uh, to work with an insurance company takes like a year. So it's mm -hmm. not, these things don't happen overnight. Um, and uh, it's on the radar as like, you know, maybe four or five. So yes, but I what I always say to providers when I go through these, through these calls is, you know, our mission as a company is to help people get care through mental health, through therapy, mental health care. And if uh, you as a provider has the bandwidth to join a Medicare or a TRICARE or a Medicaid, please do. You know, if you can do that on your own, um, I, you know, I'm referring people to Kim to help out with that process now because yes, thank we, want, you. <laughs> we want providers uh, to, to join these panels that they can because we're not there yet. And uh, just because we're not there doesn't mean you shouldn't. So we want to help out with the panels we can and work with the panels we can. But if there's a panel that we're not going to work with in the next, you know, six months or so, uh, then please join them because that means that you'll be able to help those patients that we can't support quite yet. So, uh, you know, we're not just because we can't su provide support there doesn't mean that we don't want you to provide support there. So, uh, if you have the bandwidth, please do. Um, Medicare, Medicaid, not just that would it's not on the radar at this moment. We're we're focusing on the commercial plans right now. Uh, uh, Lenora, yes, you do. You, if you are credentialed with uh, Horizon, uh, then you get credentialed with Horizon through Headway. Uh, do you keep your individual contract? Yes, you do. Mm -hmm. uh, it is a separate uh, under uh, Headway's NPI number. Yeah, so Lenora, he was saying earlier, you could literally bill one client under Headway and the rest under your contract and just see if you like Headway. Like you don't have to bring them all over to their their contract. Yeah, if Obviously, you don't want to. Is you'll love working with us so much that you want to do that because <laughs> the process and the you know the portal and the system. But um, that that's yeah, we hope you do. Uh, Jennifer, do you have Optum VA? Uh, yeah, definitely. Um, wait, like, oh, sorry, is that do you mean Optum Virginia or Veterans Association? Is that I'm um, might be mixing up the. Yeah, I'm not sure. What do you mean, Jennifer? Optum VA. She knows everything about insurance, Jennifer, by the way. <laughs> so she probably knows about something I don't know with the VA. Uh, okay. uh, veterans, she said veterans, yeah. 
honestly, yeah, I, as I said, when I, when I, when I was prepping with Kim for this, I was like, if there's a question I don't know the answer to, I'm just going to be honest. So I have no clue. Um, <laughs> so I'll, I'll get back to you on that. Uh, yeah. I know our I would, answer is like if it's a if it's a commercial plan, then yes. But because it has to do with veterans, which is might be government related, I'm not sure. Jennifer, that might have answered the question because of the commercial side of that. I don't know, but I'll get I'll get back to you and uh, I'll tell Kim to 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 respond to this later. Thank you. Uh, credentials. Sorry if this was asked earlier. The credentialing if your headway and headways will be received. Yes, that's exactly right. So uh, because okay. because we're we're at we have a PC in each state or we have a practice in each state, we're able to have uh, tell providers. Yeah. Do you have any plans of going into medical? Uh, uh, <laughs> you know, I didn't. I'm not in the executive level of the company. Not that I've heard, uh, but you never know what what. Uh, what Andrew and Jake are up to. So I, I don't, I'm not going to rule that out, but uh, as far as my knowledge, definitely not at, right now at all, or if at ever. Mm -hmm. Okay. Optima is a program called community care that works with veterans. Oh, okay. Right. Uh, cool. I appreciate the question, Lori and Jennifer. Um, I just took a note of it and I will get back to both of you tomorrow. Yeah. You know, when you'll be in California. <laughs> I don't honestly. We uh, I joined Headway in October um, of of this year. Oh, yeah, I guess a little background on me would be helpful. Maybe uh, just see so okay. a, a, a little story to the face. Uh, I graduated uh, college back in May of 2020. Joined Headway in October. Uh, has been the best job I've ever had. Um, not that I've had many, but the best job I've ever had. Um, I get to speak to therapists all day, which is just an amazing job. Uh, and I think that Headway is doing something really great for for people in the country. Um, and I've, I've seen that firsthand from speaking to clients and therapists and, you know, um, not everything is, is totally perfect and there's things that I wish we could do or, you know, didn't do or whatever, but uh, it's been an amazing job. Um, and anyway, the long story there was uh, when we, when I started, we were only in New York and we have, mm -hmm. are now in 11 states and it's only been about six months. So uh, wow. we really just wanted to iron down those 11 and, you know, get those solidified uh, and then the next goal will take, we're going to take this quarter to really make sure we're all of our, you know, things are buttoned up and comfortable with where we're at. And then in this, the second half of the year uh, to do another, you know, 10 or so, hopefully. So uh, ah. I don't, even, I don't even know if California is in the next bunch. We're not even at that part of the discussion yet, just because we're really focused on making sure that we're all set up in the States that we're in, because we want to perfect that, uh, perfect that there. That's awesome. And Dan's great, guys. I mean, any literally anything I've asked him, he's like gotten right back to me. So he's he's a great contact person for this. <laughs> Thank you very much. Yeah, you've been wonderful. You're welcome. Uh, How long does it take to hear back well, from you? Gina, oh. let's take a look right now. While we're on. <laughs> We've got Gina Marie. <laughs> I'll take a look right now. I, I talked to Dan this morning and I said, a lot of people are messaging me saying they haven't heard back yet. And I think you guys are just overwhelmed, right? Is that... Yeah. Um, What's happening? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Kim has boosted our, our inbound interest form quite a bit. I think this is the coolest thing. I mean, I, I did a live the other day about just, you know, I recommend billers. I recommend doing it on your own if you want to. I recommend places like this. I think this is a great solution for a large group of therapists. So I'm excited you guys are available to everyone on this page, really. Totally. And yeah, uh, I Again, I've said it before, but you know, we're really just trying to be a great addition to your practice that you already have really successful. We'll try to make things a little easier. And if it's not for you, that's fine too. Uh, but I, I really do think that there's something in here for, uh, for everyone um, at, at some level. So you know, yeah. the least I could say is you know, check it out, have a conversation with one, someone on my team um, uh, and, and we'll go from there. Yeah, cool. Nice, Kay. Uh, Colin, I personally, I'm not on Illinois, so I don't even want to try to fabricate an answer there. I, I'm going to get back to you and speak to the person who's handling Illinois. Uh, Ellie, I'm glad you had a good time with, with uh, Henry today. Um, Gina, can you private message me to make sure that we have your proper information and I'll make sure that someone reaches out to you tomorrow, please. Um, the time should be 24, 48 hours, but if it's been longer than that, then please let me know. Um, and that goes for anyone that's seeing this video. If you 
just fill out the form, don't hear back. Uh, Kim gets a text a day probably saying, nudge Dan, just go to me directly. Uh, we wanna make sure Kim doesn't get a million messages. Um, hi, uh, Hel Helen asks, is this going to be saved? Uh, yes, it will. Yeah. Uh, Nate, what 11 states are you in? We have New York, New Jersey, North Carolina, Virginia, uh, Florida, Texas, Georgia, Colorado, Michigan, Illinois, uh, Washington. That, and New, New Jersey, if I didn't say that, but that should be 11. Oh, New Jersey too? Okay. Yeah, New Jersey as well. Okay. Cool. Okay. Uh, are there any fees, Helen asks? Uh, no, there are no fees associated with working with us before or after signing up. That's pretty cool. Yeah. Yeah. Gosh, guys, you had a ton of questions. It's awesome. Great. Does anybody else have anything? We, I think we set aside about an hour for this. I don't know if anybody else has anything. And Dan, Dan's going to come back and check if we had any things pop up for people that couldn't be here tonight. Yeah, exactly. Um, yeah, I just, you know, I, I think that'll, that's probably all the questions, but I just want to say thank you guys so much for listening. And um, I know that Headway is a bit of a new concept and idea for people. And, um, I just want everyone to know that our heart is in the right place and really just trying to connect with and work with providers um, a, a across the country. And, um, you know, hopefully we'll be in all 50 states pretty soon, able to help more, more than just the ones that we're in. But um, I really appreciate you guys letting me share this with you. And um, if there's any bit of uh, doubt, questions, interest, you know, willing to work, want to work with us, uh, please reach out uh, via the form that Kim has posted uh, on the on the page, and uh, someone from either someone me or someone on my team uh, will will reach out to you, uh, and we'll make sure we get all your questions answered, and then we'll get you up and running on Headway. Awesome. I'm going to post it right now. So go to that form, even if they're not in your state yet. If you fill out the form, they'll put you on the wait list. Yeah, and if you're not if you're in if you're not in one of the 11 states you work in, and you don't hear back, don't worry. Uh, that's, we have your information. It's just because we're not there yet. So I, I still have it. And yeah, Kim just posted that for him. And yeah, thank you guys for having me. It's, this is great. Thanks, Dan. I appreciate it so much. I think this helps clear, clear up a lot of things. Absolutely. Yeah. Let's do it again. Okay. Sometime. Yes, we probably will. Maybe we will, but thanks everybody. Thanks for coming. And you know, I'm always available too. If you need anything, if you have any questions. Cool. Awesome. Okay. Bye, okay. Thanks, Dan. Bye. Yeah. Bye everybody. Let's see, stop live stream.